I mean, it looks it looks pretty spot on from what I can see here, but it looks a bit too spot on. I'll get into that. Before I even get started with this reaction video, guys, I need to address a couple of things. A couple of things that have, you know, nigged at me a little bit ever since the Dead Space remake gameplay reveal, what, like a week or so ago now. When I made my review of the actual trailer, uh, my reaction as it were, and that little short I did as well, I addressed a couple of concerns, basically. I said that basically this was looking exactly like the very first Dead Space game. Now, while a lot of you might be like, well, that's a good thing in it, it's, it's just like the first one. For me, it's, it's, I, and I know, listen guys, I'm up to date with this. I really am. I've been up to date with this since they announced the damn thing last year. So I know that there's going to be these, these features. I know there's going to be expanded areas. I know that there's going to be, you know, it, it's, it's one take from beginning of the game all the way to the end, all that, unless you die, of course, all that stuff. I'm, I'm in the know is what I'm saying. But what I was saying in my initial reaction to that gameplay reveal was that as your first trailer, guys, as your first trailer to showcase what you'll be playing, most of it anyway, you know, no, still going to be in development and such, you know, we've got just over three months until this game releases, but as your first trailer, you want to put out as much cool shit out there. And what I saw was the same, pretty much the exact same game with the exact same models for the necromorphs, you know, they just didn't look too impressive, but with some prettier environmental graphics here and there, do you know what I mean? Even though some of those environments looked a little bit off here and there kind of thing, it looked beautiful, but the character models, the dialogue, everything like that, it just concerned me. Why? Because I fucking love Dead Space, guys. That's it. And this leads on to the second thing that's been niggling at me. Again, nothing new, guys, all right? And if you're one of these people, it is what it is. That's all I'm going to say. But you get these idiots online, guys, who say, why are you judging this trailer? Why don't you just wait until it comes up, uh, until it comes out, you know, until it releases? Um, you know, I don't understand why people are just nitpicking at this. Because that's what trailers are for, you dumb fucks. It's to judge. Am I going to buy this game or am I going to skip it? That's what we do as human beings. We get a trailer, whether it's a game trailer or a movie trailer, and it's there to be judged. Do I want to spend money on this product? You thick fucking c Sorry, guys, but just had to get it off my chest because you've got some fucking idiots out there, guys, and they just don't see things from other perspectives, all right? So if you're looking forward to this game without any faults, that's fine. But don't just like it for the sake of liking it. Don't say, who cares about the faults that you see in the trailer? It's Dead Space. We're getting a new Dead Space game. That's not good enough. That is not good enough, guys. You need to nitpick. You need to be harsh on criticism, as long as it's constructive and valid, right? So that you get a better product overall. Anyway, that's actually helped a little bit now. Anyway, I'm gonna be watching this Dead Space extended gameplay walkthrough video here. I am hoping for my concerns to be alleviated somewhat, if not completely, I don't know. I'm, who knows at this point, but I am interested to see what they've got cooking up here, so. Let's get on with it. They, they still got that tense kind of psycho music Hi, from the original. Wait, 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 wait. That's cool. Today, I'm here to give you a first All right, what we got one here? of my favorite sections in the game. Main hangar bay, so we here we are. Here, in the Ishimura's hangar, at the beginning of chapter three. We're going to make our way towards the control room in the Hammond. I think it's a different hand. actor, which is a shame. Channel? But For it is what it is. Remember the original. The hangar was much smaller than it is. Now. I do love the intricacies of Isaac's suit in the remake here. It does look very pretty. You can literally fly through it before heading to our destination. It's very authentic, you know. Yeah, that's cool. Navigating between chapters without load screens or having the camera cutaway is part of how we've reimagined the Ishimura for the remake. It's going to be we interesting. Need to rely on the it's... tram as the sole way to get between chapters. Oh, okay. It is now no relying on the train, tram. Ship. This, yeah, this is one of the main things I'm looking forward to, the, the new stuff, you know what I'm talking about. Seeing what they do, the surprises and such. I want to go into a room expecting something, that not happen, go into a completely different room or a chapter and then it happens there, you know, maybe in a different way. We've got two Here they are. 
you can quickly get rid of them with the pulse rifle or Isaac's trusty plasma cutter. Sound effects are, sit, are sounding cool. There aren't cool. many traditional firearms on board. To survive, you may have to improvise and choose how to take each necromorph down. That sounded a bit weak when it got hit there. <sighs> We're now I'm used to hearing, ah! <laughs> we have Maybe a it was just one of many so sound bites for Isaac three. getting hit, but... He walks much faster in this. I think that's a that's a station. by design, obviously, because it's going to be a much bigger ship. To I get think. There, we're passing through the machine shop over here. Not too sure how I feel about the stepping if sound effects. It doesn't sound quite metallic and cold and heartless enough, you know. You may encounter a this is just one kind experience. of environment that does this, but different enemies. The oh, here we go. may change. This is what we call the intensity director. It keeps the issue I've heard about unpredictable this. and brings some additional tension and challenge. Can't see nothing without your flashlight. That's cool. But they do look pretty the spot the on. Station is just a little further ahead. The necromorph models. Like, they do look last gen still, I'm not going to lie. From what I'm seeing on my particular screen. As you can see, some memorable moments are authentic to the original. That's what you want. We've added tons of graphical enhancement that support strategic dismemberment. I can see a bit more of the detail now. Using when you cut their limbs. We'll bring that gondola over and make our way to the south refueling station. But they do look last gen, I'm not going to lie. They still look last gen. A little bit. We need to gain Farm access still to the fuel great. management office, which contains the power functions for the refueling station. We can follow that cable to find our way there. One of the things we tried to achieve was to add more context to the various objectives, to expand on what was there, and bring a bit more detail and depth where we could. Yeah, they sound cool still. Ah! Oh, this lovely juicy sound effects still there. I love it. Cool. That I don't mind not changing, you know, the because it's, has no power. it's just one of those core fundamental we things, you know, that just the fuel shouldn't office. change. Just like Isaac's kind of HUD on his back, you know, like his health and stuff. This card should allow us in, and we can now make our way back. Cool, They've still got the video calls. Good stuff. Oh, that's Kendra. After the bridge, we thought... Glad to disappoint I barricaded myself in the computer core. I can hear them, but I don't think they know I'm here. Isaac, I tracked down your rig. You're an engineer, right? I'll get myself... That's cool. Privileges. Those Maybe models on the screens look cool. Now that we have access to this room, we're faced with... Hype levels have gone up a little bit, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Support ...and rely on air canisters for oxygen. But today, we'll play a section without lights instead. Oh, awesome! Uh, that's cool, I like that. I like that. Hopefully they'll expand here, like actually add some cool puzzles and stuff like that. And kind of ways of doing things. So I like that. Okay. Things are definitely improving from my from the last trailer. Yeah, throw the limbs back, that's cool. From the old Dead Space 2 era. With the power restored the South refueling station can now be activated. In the original game, this kind of bit um, freaked me out, definitely. In the decontamination and that computer voice sounds pretty much spot on as well. It sounds like the original one, to be fair. It doesn't sound far off at all. Oh god, this bit. Is it this bit? Oh yeah, this bit. This bit's horrible, isn't it? What are they doing here? Dynamic smoke creates that thick and opaque atmosphere that makes you lose track of the lurkers, even when they're right next to you. That's cool. Okay, good to see a little bit more of their face there. That looked a bit freaky. The lurkers are so annoying, aren't they? It adds to the cost they're of right there. the feeling of being locked in with a pack of necromorphs. Yeah, man. I always hate coming in this area in the original 
Where's the screams when he gets hit and the ah kind of thing, you know? It doesn't sound like it's there. Again, I know, you know, it's not out yet, but we're going to showcase it. Our last stop is a centrifuge. It's offline, and the Ishimura is getting dragged down to the planet below. Please attach generator modules. Manual. We've added so much detail in here. They have. They Particles really have to be fair. Lighting, floating debris. We wanted this room to be imposing and tell a story at the same time. Cool. It's a lot more impressive, and its size makes it harder to keep track of the incoming necromorphs. So audio plays a huge role here in identifying <laughs> the direction of threats. Yeah, it definitely looks more imposing, more frightening, more scary shit can happen here. <laughs> Lots of more going on, more, beefy, more beefed up. We can head to the second one. Flying in zero G and not being anchored to the surface makes spatial awareness extremely important. Combat encounters can quickly become deadly, especially with leapers. And now, with the generating modules powered up, the centrifuge is ready to be activated. Generator module attached. Clutch engaged. Who didn't die on this on their first playthrough? If he didn't, fair play to you, but I think I remember dying here. He's just getting whacked by that rotating apparatus. There he is. I hope you enjoyed the sneak peek at the new Dead Space. Thank you for tuning in. Alright. Alright. That was pretty cool. Yeah, my hype levels have gone from around down here where they were last time to around about up here, something like that. But the Callista Protocol is still top tier at the moment. All the way up here, my hype levels on that one there. But I will say this video, this extended gameplay walkthrough actually did help some of my concerns. There are still some lingering concerns there, like the character models, it's like the necromorphs really, they, 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 they look better in graphical fidelity from the very first game, of course they do, but not too much. I was expecting some more intricacies and I'm still not seeing this kind of weird stuff where you know i'm not being just crazy here but we, I, I was told we were all told if you know if you shoot a limb off it and it's not completely detached it'll kind of swing off i didn't really see that there maybe i missed it kind of thing but i didn't see any kind of emphasis on it kind of thing there is some kind of expanded graphical enhancements in terms of when you shoot when you start to shoot limbs off yeah they start to break away kind of thing that looks that looks cool but not to the standard I was expecting from what they were talking about last year in, in one of the live streams, you know. Um, but overall, again, I'm still going to be playing this game, guys. There's lots to kind of see and talk about in this one. But I will say, this is the last time I'm going to be reacting to anything Dead Space Remake related. Unless something amazing happens. I'm, I'm not sure what could, you know, what that could be. But I've seen enough now. And I'm ready to just hold off, not look at any more traders or anything like that and just get my hands on the game in late January next year. So, guys, what did you think about this? I hope you enjoyed this reaction video. Tell me what you thought down in the comments about this extended gameplay walkthrough video. Not long to wait now, like I said before, just over three months or so. So, fingers crossed, guys, we get a really, really good product. But until the next video, guys, thank you, as always, for taking the time to watch this video, and I will see you all very soon.